All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm going to touch on a number of points in this video, I'm all circulating around the point of why I believe um, Doge is going to go over a dollar. And I'm, I'm going to start back here. If you're looking at the, the chart, if you uh, can, uh, you can take a look here and see that this is January, February 2021. This is right on the cusp of things getting interesting and um, Doge becoming the international sensation that it is. And one thing that you'll notice is we had this rally. Um, and this was January 29th. We had this initial rally here all before. If you got in early January, you know, it was a penny, two pennies, all that good stuff. And you had this initial pump to around basically around 10 cent. Right. And we had this huge, huge gap down, um, well over 50 percent. Everyone was saying it was over. It was a, a flash in the pan and, you know, you should have got in down here and that was going to be uh, the end. And then slowly we had some retest and, you know, if you were, you know, never sighted, it looks like, you know, that was true. It was the case. And then we had consecutive red days. Literally, we had one green day or two green days, like seven green days. So we went red for a week and, and then we went sideways. Um, and, you know, obviously if that was, you know, a, if you were, had the, the notion to be long-term in the coin there, that would have been an accumulation period. And then of course, I don't have to explain, it went parabolic. And, and the reason I'm showing you this is to touch on, if you watch my first video this morning, I was saying that it's not uncommon to uh, struggle with certain zones, right? Um, we don't know, you know, for, for Bitcoin, it could be 75,000, probably 100, 100,000. But I, I promise you that every zone is, is not going to be one test, two tests, and then through. Um, that, that just, A, that's unsustainable. And then even the amount of capital that it takes, and depending on, you know, things like macros or CPI numbers, if they're coming a little high, for example, like today, there's a lot of things that kind of play into that. And so sometimes it requires multiple test to to break through those levels and you can see that um, here with bitcoin and i'm going to show you how this kind of ties in because the biggest thing is that if you look at the overall charts and where we are everything is running early uh even dogecoin dogecoin should still be at six cent right now um bitcoin typically runs first like and and then you'll have kind of like the rest of the altcoins kind of catch up and they'll run a little later and bitcoin and, and this is one of the things I talked about a couple of years ago was I, I, I thought that the amount of retailers in the coin could potentially change the timing of the cycle. And we're getting hard evidence of that right now. Bitcoin hitting an all time high prior to the halving, Dogecoin rallying 300 percent prior to even the bull market, prime bull market is beginning. The prime bull market, we're talking about peak bull market per history. That's not even happening until next year. We are well, like we have another, like, like the end of next year, we have over a year of expected bullishness in crypto to go. And we're rallying 200%, 300% this early in the game. This is... Like this is what this is, I believe, is the foundation. I believe uh, for a lot of these coins like exceeding uh, expectations. Like you know, Bitcoin going to a thousand, Doge going to a dollar, and maybe even my dollar forty estimate is too low. Maybe maybe that's conservative, but I believe that the crypto market is going to expand aggressively um, uh, this cycle here, and I think that all of these coins are going to just absorb liquidity as we start to. Um, as we start to get deeper into like the crypto market and this cycle, um, because and I don't know if it's been referred to as kind of like a super cycle, but if you if you look at the hard evidence that we have here, it's definitely shaping up to be a, a super super cycle because we are outpacing absolutely everything. Uh, I want to take I want to switch charts here and take a look here at the um, the short standard doge again, and this kind of lets me know that this price isn't sustainable. If you take a look here. The shorts are still red. They are not counting on this price speculation, uh, this price drop continuing. And then we'll take a look at those chart in a moment, and I'll tell you why. But they're they're not taking positions. They believe it's still too risky to jump into Doge right now to short. So like, some people panic 
and when they see uh, numbers go down and they the people who are hoping that it goes down <laughs> they aren't bitcoin shorts are up 150 percent for the day um, bitcoin shorts have spiked above the 72 day and to a high one of the highest points this year Hi, matter of fact, this is the highest amount of shorts Bitcoin has had in green um, since December. So they're they're calling for a correction in Bitcoin, not Doge right now. And we know sometimes they run together, sometimes they don't. But let me show you Doge. And, I want, and then we're going to make my second point here. So we talked about this earlier. I believe this could be making a W, uh, kind of like what we see here. And we did come down and touch the support level, but and obviously we had a big push off of it. And that's typically that's what you can have here. You can have the first, I guess, V, the middle V, and typically it goes something like that. And this is what you would call, if you're talking about a pattern, you call it like a double bottom. But that's typically how um, it works. And this could be, you know, just a balance that it could continue, but that's just a, um, a I guess, a guesstimate based off of what I'm seeing. But if you take a look, you'll see. I want to zoom in. Oh no, I'm still drawing. Hold on. No more drawing. All right. So if you take a go away now. All right. So if you take a look here. Oh my god. I'm not, I'm not clicking on. Uh, I guess if I click on what actually what I wanted to use, it'll work. Okay. So if you take a look here, uh, you zoom in, you'll see that we pretty much rejected right off of the line right off of the 14 came down touched it and we had a push up here this candle still open obviously but um this is kind of like a testament when i was saying that you know we can come down and grab some liquidity and finish making that double bottom and this is a test to a double bottom technically is a bullish trend and you basically you're grabbing liquidity you're getting you're doing your rejections and you're grabbing the liquidity you need to go through and typically when you're getting a bunch of rejections, the only thing that you're doing is by staying here and the trend not weakening with like smaller candles, what you're doing is you're building confidence in the market for investors to come in and uh, be comfortable buying at this level. Because technically speaking, what is happening now is we don't have the liquidity to go higher because the threat or the emotion of saying that, OK, well, what if we go lower somewhere down here? Or around 12 cent and i can potentially get a better deal but when that doesn't happen and we keep bouncing off of the 15 14 they'll say okay well this is probably not going to go down i don't want to miss the next rally and then this is how this turns into that support level and then we flip it on the way you know when we are the 20s and now instead of resistance it's now support and you know we continue on with the next leg so that this is actually building out really uh, really greatly this is building out much uh, more than i expected um as far as like support i was thinking maybe we would be here three or four days but it's turning out this is literally turning into um that that stairway that we're going to need here much later on and when we come back here because we'll probably retest this level when we're in the 20s and i'm going to try my best to remember uh, when we bounce off of this area to say that, okay, remember, aren't you grateful that we spent the time here instead of, you know, having like this and then possibly who knows where we end up on the way out, right? So if we're looking at this here, we're looking at the trends and we say that Bitcoin's uh, having has not happened yet. Um, after this having Bitcoin is going to be more rare than gold. We have all of this capital flowing into the market and we're not even in peak bull run yet. This is a huge setup for crazy runs. You know, like I said, um, no, this is way early for those to run. This is even early for Bitcoin. And the market is pushing up crazy right now. And this is, I believe, a lot of retailers are coming in. I don't even think we've had institutional money come into the market greatly just yet. Um, I, I know big money typically comes in, normally it comes in first, right? And then we had a push up. I know we have some ETFs with um, Bitcoin and some accumulation there. Um, and I think that just because of the halving and Bitcoin being more rare than gold within the, this next halving, it's going to be a competition or accumulation game um, for the market. And I think that this is going to happen 
and with a number of coins and uh and those being one of them because i think a lot of times people believe that they had you know more time or even right now they're saying oh well you know maybe we can catch it at at 12 cent and then if it doesn't go down to those levels and it continues rising that's how you kind of get that that parabolic movement that we're used to seeing you know in mid 20s 30 range it's because people are coming in and they're realizing that okay well i'm not going to have the opportunity to get it um, at the level i want it and that's kind of like what happens with bitcoin when they're saying that oh well, i want to get it at forty thousand now and then it keeps going up it keeps going up and like okay well I'll, I'll okay i'll buy now and that's how you kind of get that domino effect and that momentum um of going to the upside i believe that overall um this cycle especially with how early we're running and how much time we have left in the bull market um i i definitely believe that we're going to set a new all-time high and probably do it early um uh, we'll see how the capital comes into the market i'm very interested to see about the having um and an overall market trends here to see if they're going to get like a ethereum etf approved before the end of the year but we are really, really early in the market. And I think that a lot of times people are comparing the Doge and the Bitcoin saying, oh, well, Doge is, Bitcoin is up right now. And, uh, you know, Doge should be at like 30 or 40 cent. That is an incorrect statement. Doge should be at six cent right now. And Bitcoin shouldn't even be running until after the halving. All of them are running early. Um, so these those, those estimates are incorrect here. What Doge has done is really impressive with this um, capital allocation this early in the game. I can't even say that enough. So we're going to have to kind of take a look at history and look at what has changed this bull market and see the momentum here that we are, you know, over $20 billion with like a year and a half left in the bull market. That is the, the positioning that you need, right? So, you know, if we're saying, you know, um, to get to a dollar, we need roughly an arm of like four, 140 billion and we're not even peak bull run. That makes things much, much more plausible and it doesn't turn into like this, you know, um, moon title or clickbait thing that's circulating on the internet that, start to make, that starts making the, uh, this number more plausible when you start having these runs and building this foundation this early in the game. So, Keep that in mind here when you're doing long term and when you're thinking about your um, investments and think about the, the difference in, uh, in trend cycles that we're seeing because the, the strength that it's showing is absolutely amazing. Don't zoom in right now and look at, you know, the 18 cent level because I can show you uh, for those of you that didn't watch the um, my earlier video, you can take a look. We can look at a number of different levels here, you know, even I want to say when we have our retesting here around the eight and 10 cent range, look at this here. This is a period of months from July to November. Look how many tests that we have around the eight cent range before we were able to break above it. Right. We're, we're talking over a period of months now in a bull run that typically months doesn't happen, but you will have retests much more frequently, which is what we're doing now. We're retesting every other day just because of, you know, that's that's the difference between a bull market and a bear market. There's more capital, so you're going to retest faster. But it's not always the one, two, next level, one, two, next level. That's not how the trend works. And, you know, we have to, especially for you've been following my channel, that's one of the things we have to kind of apply is some of the technical stuff that we've learned over the last few years to know that how important it is to build out these floors and the importance of having, having patience. Uh, if you bought down here, you are well into the green. Um, and if you bought in any of the blue zones I have down here, you've made you've had a return on your investment 100% of the time. So we're going to build up these higher zones. We're going to take a look here um, and uh, build up these these higher floors going forward, and and move out the uh, the plans as far as for uh, where the support is going to be. We have a general idea based off of history, but we're going to see going forward and see kind of see if it overlaps. But right now, the 18 cent mark is the the Goliath, and we are certainly putting up a, a fight here. And on top of that, one last point I want to make. If you look here, we've had three, four red days, so uh, compared to the five green. And the red days, are, we've only had one strong green candle this red day here. We barely closed below. I mean, really, like just barely. And the rejections on the red days are astronomical. So we're looking at huge push-ups here. That lets you know how strong the buying pressure is around the 15 cent mark. 
People are comfortable buying there and they love it. You know, 15 to 30 is 100%. Uh, they believe, and you know, on the next leg up, 30%, 30 cent is certainly uh, within striking range on the next leg. So, uh, you know, they're, they're planning out and you can see the confidence that they have as far as the buying here. So, um, you know, take a look at that. We see a reversal in shorts or a reversal. And, um, you know, if we can get evidence of some big wallet selling off, something like that, then obviously we can change our approach. But as of right now, we're just playing the test game and we are in great position here. This is at, at as of right now, especially with this, how strong this wick is. We, we, as I said earlier, we're not at a threat to break down or go below this. Um, you know, there's no indication of that on any of the charts. So consider this an opportunity. If you are long, if your DCA is higher than this, if your DCA is 30 cent, 40 cent, whatever, and we, you have evidence now that we are in the bull market. Bitcoin is now setting all time highs. I'm not trying to time the market or anything, but you now have hard evidence that we are in the bull market. And, you know, sometime within the next year or so, you're going to have peak bull market. If that is your call, then to average down, and since you didn't want to try and time the market, these are the levels you want to do it at. You know, you don't want to buy these. You want to buy these, right? So, um, you know, you want to buy the, the flat period stuff because that'll give you an opportunity. Even if you wanted to do a swap, I'm not telling you how to trade. Um, I'll try to stay away from that in this video. But if you were doing a swap from 25 to 18, you know, from resistance point to supply and demand, you know, you would be able to kind of swap here on the way down and redo the same play. To make money so overall depending on how you want to play it, if you're long term or short term you can do it either way but this is a great accumulation point um if you are looking to um, increase coin count obviously the closer to the blue line the better around 15 cent or you know if you're just simply waiting you know just have patience we're going to retest this and the 18 cent mark and the strength is still there in the candles and I believe we will break it probably sometime in the middle of the night because I don't know if those one likes to do that. So, you know, sometime in the middle of the night, we'll, we'll retest it. Right. <laughs> so that being said, hope you found value in this video. Um, I still believe those is going over a dollar this bull run. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And also, if you have not subscribed yet, check and make sure if you watch my videos and subscribe to the channel, we're going to hit a hundred thousand subscribers this year. And I would love to have you in that number. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.